Hi girls, it's Miss Gaska. Today I'm going to go over English 3 Semester 2 Week 2, Embedded Assessment 1, Presenting a Literary Movement, the Harlem Renaissance. So, your assignment is, we're going to take out this work on pairs part or small group because we're working remotely, to create an interactive multimedia research presentation about a topic related to the Harlem Renaissance. This is what the different things that we've been doing have been adding toward. This presentation to your classmates should include a variety of media and must also include an annotated bibliography. Your presentation should focus on some aspect of the era that represents the values and ideas of the Harlem Renaissance, such as historical context, philosophy and beliefs, the arts, or daily life. So to get started on this presentation, you're going to want to focus first on your planning. Make a plan to conduct research to gather relevant and engaging sources. Here are some questions to guide you on that task. Is the research that you have done sufficient for your presentation, meaning has it been enough? What questions still need to be answered? Which types of media will you use to present your research? A trifold display, mock-up of a social networking page, pre presentation slide, online blog, video, performance, etc. How will you divide the tasks that remain? Well, you're not dividing the tasks because you're not working with a group. So consider the preparation and delivery of each section of the presentation. What resource will you provide your audience so that they can take notes to em that emphasizes the main idea and evidence of your presentation? So then you need to start working on the draft of your presentation. Be sure to organize and showcase a variety of multimedia. So first, how will you ensure that your presentation has an engaging introduction and a reflective conclusion? Secondly, how can group members who are working on separate elements check in to make sure you avoid repetition and redundancy of ideas? And third, how can you take advantage of the different media types you are using so that the presentation is engaging to the audience? So those are the things that will guide you on this section. The fourth one says evaluating and revising. Create time to review, reflect upon, and revise drafts. So during this point, you're looking at your project and figuring out what do I need to change? What do I need to do differently? So first of all, do all of your details and commentary support your thesis? Do you provide transitions that allow a smooth transition from one element to the next? And are all sources correctly referenced and or cited? So for your rehearsal and presentation, take time to rehearse so the presentation moves smoothly and creates clear connections for the listeners. So first, how can you use the speaking and performance guidelines from Unit 2 as a resource? We're not doing the second one, so don't worry about that. And then how can you use the scoring guide as a resource before the final presentation? And then you have a reflection. After completing this embedded assessment, think about how you went about accomplishing this ass assignment and respond to the following. This assessment required incorporating multiple media types into one coherent presentation. How was that task challenging and what advantages did it bring over a presentation that uses only one media type? This is your scoring guide. I want you to focus on the proficient section. The proficient should be what you're aiming toward. If you happen to get exemplary, even better, but you only are required to hit the details from proficient. So your presentation must provide a researched response to the topic. It must provide adequate support for the ideas presented about the subject. It must include interaction by providing a note-taking tool for the audience. The presentation must include the topic, contain a thesis, and set the context. Use traditional devices to move the reader, transitional devices to move the reader from one point to the next conclude with an adequate reflection and brings closure and includes an annotated bibliography with citations, summaries, and source evaluations. Then last but not least, it accurately addresses the intended audience, clearly integrates research, and shows an appro appropriate use of conventions with some minor errors, but not too many. And that's all for this lesson. I'm sure you'll have plenty of questions about the embedded assessment, and I can guide you through that um, with some one-on-one -on -one support. So please reach out if you need any help with that. And as always, thanks for watching and have a great day.